Okay, now I'm going to show how to create a discussion forum that uses that's a team private team journal. So you can actually have one discussion forum, but use utilize teams so students only communicate with their own teammates. So to do this, I'm in my course. I've already created my teams. Um, so under the lessons tab, I'm going to say add content and select discussion forum, same as you would for any other discussion. And I'm going to call this one discussion A. Okay. Now, under interaction, for mode, I'm going to use what's called a private team journal. Again, this will allow so that in one discussion forum, um, it's broken up by teams, so students only communicate with their teams that are assigned there. Um, if you want to know what all these different things are, by the way, if you click on the little description there, it'll actually give you a description of all the different modes. But anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. Now, if I only had one set of teams in the course, this would be all I'd need to do. It would work fine. However, um, I've actually got two sets of teams in this course I've done. I've got discussion form one, or I sorry, discussion A and discussion B with two different sets of teams. And if I do this right now, when students go into this one, they're going to see both their membership for discussion one and the membership for discussion B, I guess. Um, and I don't want that. So we're going to do one more thing before we save. Under post permissions, you'll see here are my different teams. Here are my discussion A teams and discussion B teams. I'm going to first unselect all these by unselecting the default. See how they're all checked off. Now, just for the teams associated with discussion A, I'm going to turn on the ability to read, turn on the ability to do a new post, and turn on the ability to do a reply. Okay? So again, I, I named it. I set it to a private team journal. And for post permissions, I'm only assigning permissions to the, the teams associated with discussion A. So I'll go ahead and create this. I'm going to repeat this one more time for discussion B. So again, new content or add content, discussion form. We'll call this one discussion B. And again, the same process. Change it to a private team journal. Under post permissions, first I have to unselect all of them. And this time I've only got two teams for discussion B, so I'll select those. And we'll save it. So, as an instructor, if I go into discussion A, when you put it into private team journal, you get this extra drop down here. And right now, since we're in discussion A, I have these different teams that I can post to. So as an instructor, if I do a post to all teams by saying new post, and leave it on all teams, all the students will see it. If I want to communicate only with the discussion A team, I can select to post it right there, and then only members of those teams will of that team will see it. Okay, uh, same thing. Actually, let me do that. So let's do a new post, just the team two. We're just going to call this test post, just a test and we'll submit that. And remember, I'm an instructor right now. So as an instructor, when I'm on all teams, I see it. When I'm viewing Team 1's area, I don't see it. Team 2, I do see it. Team 3, I don't see it. So you see how that works. If we were to look at Discussion B, we only see, see those. Okay, now let's go in and be, do a Student Preview. So I'm going to go to Student Preview. I'm going to be a student who is a member of Discussion uh, A, Team 1, and Discussion B, Team 2. I'll begin my preview. And when I go there, sure enough, I see both discussions. But when I click on Discussion A, remember, I'm in Team 1. I don't see anything, because that post I made was to Team 2. They're only going to see their posts within their team. As a student, if I go to make a post, my only option is to post into Discussion A, Team 1. So we'll say, um, my student post, this is a test. Okay. And similarly, as a student, if I look at Discussion B, Discussion B, Team 2, because that's what I went in as a preview as. Um, for all purposes, I'm a student in those two teams. Now let's go back, cancel preview, 
and now I'm going to be back myself as the instructor. And as the instructor, you have all powers to see everything. So now when I go to discussion A, if I view all teams, I'm going to see all posts, regardless which team they are posted in. But if I want to see an individual team's discussion, let's look at discussion A, team 1. There's that student post I just did as a student preview. And as team 2, there's the instructor post I did, again, where I selected which team to post into. So there you go. That's how you set up the team-based discussions. And hope that makes sense.